Hey guys, so for today's um, lesson, we are going to be working on multiplication um, facts and using a multiplication fact table. And um, you have three different activities. They're pretty um, easy. I want you guys to have some fun with um, this activity. And you have your video to watch. You will also have a fact table assignment that you will complete. You will do a fall multiplication picture where you will be coloring and then I want you to listen to um, some of the multiplication fact songs that are on um, my YouTube channel in my playlist and those are just going to help you to work on memorizing your facts. So um, our objective for today is I can find patterns in multiplication fact tables and um, we're also going to be looking at reviewing some of our evaluate questions that we've had. So the first thing is I want to look at fact families. So when we're looking at multiplication fact families, we have um, multiplication and addition or multiplication and division. So I will be making fact families with multiplication and division operations. Multiplication, when we multiply two factors, they um, come up with the product and the product will always be bigger. However, when we divide, we have to divide the bigger number by the two smaller numbers to get um, our smaller groups because we're making them into smaller groups. So for the facts, um, for the numbers 5, 8, and 40, we would do 5 times 8 equals 40 and then we would um, switch the factors around because they can be multiplied in any order. It doesn't matter. So we would do 8 times 5 equals 40. And then we move into our division facts. And we always start with the biggest number. So we're always going to have 40 in the front. And we do 40 divided by 5. And that equals 8. And we would do 40 again. And we're going to switch the 8 and the 5 again. So we're going to do 40 divided by 8 equals 5. Same thing on um, the numbers 3, 6, and 21. 3 times, sorry, 7, not 6, 7 equals 21. 7 times 3 equals 21. Then we're going to move into our division facts where we always start with the bigger number. So 21 divided by 7 equals 3. And then 21 divided by 3 equals 7. So this is something that we will be using um, to help us to understand our multiplication and division facts. One of the tools that you can use to help you with your multiplication fact is a fact table. And it is a chart with rows and columns. Um, and the factors 1 through 10 are listed on the outside edges in the left column and the top row. So when we are looking at um, the table, these numbers at the top, this row right here at the top, are your factors. And then down the side are the other factors. So the factors are the two numbers that you multiply. Um, the products or the answers are all in the middle. So the answers, when you come up with them, will always be in the middle. So first we need to understand how to use a multiplication um, division fact chart and what we do is we think about our problem so if my problem was 2 times 5 I would find the 2 up here and then the 5 on this side there's a couple different ways that you can do it you can think about drawing the line down and the line across and where they intersect or where they meet is the answer so 2 times 5 is 10 or you could think about it um, by making um, jumps as you go down. So if you know that it is 2 times 5, you can start in your 2 column, and then you're going to hop down 5 times. So we would do 1, 2, 3, 
four, five. So again, two times five is 10. You could also, if you wanna use the left side, you could start at five and I could jump over two because I would be doing five times two. So I would say one, two. Again, it equals 10. So a couple different ways that um, you can do your facts. The, um, the way that you choose to do it is whatever makes sense to you. Um, I've always liked to use two fingers, so I would put a finger up on the, the two and then a finger on the five and then drag until they meet. The problem with doing it that way is that sometimes your fingers slide or you might not be going straight down and it can cause a little bit of a problem. So we've used these words quite a, quite a bit. Columns go up and down. So these are columns. And rows go left and right. So this is a row. Um, the factors being multiplied um, are the two numbers that you multiply. Those again are on the outside. And then the products are the two factors. Um, when the two factors are multiplied. That's the answer on the middle. So the product is the answer. Um, when you are looking at this, we can make a fact family um, with the four row and the six column. So when we look at this, we have this four row and then we have the six column. And like I said, you can drag your fingers and find where they meet. It is 24. So 4 times 6 is 24. Or you could go in the 6 column and count down um, 4 to get 24. Or start in 4 and get count over 6 to get 24. So when we write our fact families, it is made up of 2 multiplication, 2 division. 4 times 6 is 24. 6 times 4 is 24. Go with the big number for your division. 24 divided by 4 is 6. 24 divided by 6 is 4. So, what patterns do you notice in the tens column? Well, something that I noticed in the tens column going down, all of my numbers end in 0. So, anytime I multiply a number by 10, I'm going to have a 0 as um, in the ones place. It also means that my numbers are all even. Since there is a zero in the ones place, zero is an even number. So they are all even numbers. I also notice that it increases one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it increases by one in the tens place. What patterns do you notice in the fives row? So looking at this row going across, well, I noticed that in the ones place, there is a five, a zero, a five, a zero, a five, a zero, a five, a zero, a five, and a zero. So whenever I'm multiplying by five, my product or the answer will either have a five or a zero in the ones column. It also means that I have an odd number, an even number, an odd number, an even number, odd number, even number, odd number, even number, odd number, even number. So when multiplying by five, five's an odd number. If you multiply it by another odd number like one, you'll get five. If you multiply it by three, which is another odd number, your product will be odd. However, if you multiply five by an even number, the answer will be even. All right, so what patterns do you notice in the twos column? Well, two, four, six, eight, zero, two, four, six, eight, zero. So when I multiply by two, I can see that all of my numbers are going to be even. And it kind of repeats itself, two, four, six, eight, and then a zero two, four, six, eight, and then another zero. So it has that pattern of counting up by twos. So Kelly wants to determine if there's a pattern when multiplying by three. We're gonna use our table to help us determine this pattern. So we know that my numbers increase by three. 
3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30. Um, the numbers don't necessarily repeat. The tenths or the ones place doesn't necessarily repeat in any pattern other than increasing by 3. But we can look at this odd even pattern and see what happens. 3 is odd. 6 is even. 9 is odd. 12 is even. Odd, even, odd, even, odd, even. So just like the 5, it follows the odd, even pattern. Chris wants to determine if there's um, a pattern when multiplying by 6s. We can use a table to help us. Again, it's counting by 6s, so 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42, 48, 54, 60. And so um, we can look at the odd even pattern for this one. 6 is even, 12 is even, 18 is even, 24 is even, 30 is even, 36, 42 is even, 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 even. So when I multiply by 6, my answers will always be even. 6 is an even number, so all of my products will be even. This is a question that was on your evaluate test. And on this question, you have to pick multiple solutions. It's not just picking one, but... Um, we are looking at finding multiples. So the problem says Christy wants to solve the division problem 24 divided by 6 equals blank. Which equations below can she use to help find the solution? This is not asking for the answer. This is asking for other um, equations to help you be able to solve it. So what I like to do on this one, and what I encourage you guys to do, is to write out your fact families. So we know we have 24 divided by 6 equals something. I'm going to use a question mark. And I know that when I'm doing division, I'm going to have 2. So I'm going to have 24 divided. I'm going to switch these two numbers. I still don't know what that is, but I'm going to put a question mark, and that equals 6. Um, next, I want to do my multiplication. Well, my answer is going to equal 24, always. I'm just going to swap those numbers again. So I'm going to have 6 times something equals 24, and then I will also have something times 6 equals 24. This is just the first step to finding this answer. I have to use these factors... These are the ones that are in a fact family to help me to find out which one she could use. So I can find 6 times something equals 24. This is an answer that I would pick. 24 times something equals 6. Well, the only way that I had 24 first were these two, and they both divided. So this can't work. Something divided by 24 well, the only place that I had a question mark in the front was this one, and it does not match this one. Um, something times 6 equals 24. That one matches here. Okay, this last one will work because it matches this problem down here. Um, Again, it's another division one where 24 should be in the front, so this one does not work. And then 24 times 6 will not work either. So on this problem, you have just two solutions that you can, um, you should have marked. All right, we're going to look at your assignments. And one of them is going to be to um, look at the fact families, and then the other one is going to be to solve these multiplication facts in Kami, and then um, color in the numbers just to get your picture all colored in.